this is Panina Taylor. Welcome to day 13 of the Unstuff Yourself Challenge. Day 13, we're almost halfway there, almost two weeks that we've been working on this. We're on a journey to unclutter our lives, both the physical space that we live in and the emotional and mental space that we live in as well. And we're doing this exercise so that we can get ourselves to a place to make space that God can bless us in our lives. Who doesn't want blessing in your life, right? If you haven't seen my other videos, if this is the first time you're watching, please click on the link below and go to the introductory video first. Um, you don't have to watch the videos in order, but it's probably a good idea to see the first one. There's also one that came before it. And if you haven't already done so, please go to my website, paninataylor.com slash stuff, and there you can enter a drawing for a $25 gift voucher from Amazon. And if you like me on Facebook, you get a second entry into the drawing. The people who are participating with us on this 30-day challenge who entered right at the very beginning also got extra entries into the drawing, so don't worry, that was counted. But I wanna thank you so much for joining me on this journey. It's a courageous journey. It's something that takes not only work, but it takes a lot of emotional space and a lot of openness and willingness to change the things that need to be changing so that we can move forward with our lives. What am I getting rid of today? Well, today I am getting rid of old computer stuff. Mice that don't work, cords that don't do anything, cords for telephones, cell phones that don't exist anymore, and this keyboard. Keyboard, it's a beautiful keyboard. I bought it not a very long time ago and it's already worn out and doesn't work anymore. So, you hang on to it, why? Because maybe you'll fix it, maybe, oh, who knows. So we have a whole pile of stuff that we're hanging on to, computer gadgets and peripherals and parts that we hope that one day we'll be able to fix or find some other use for because this is like a big thing to throw out. Who wants to throw this out? Even if we're talking about recycling it, is, maybe there's a way we can upcycle it or something, right? We all, all people who collect things are, they try to be practical. So we're gonna try to be practical. Well, I have news for you. It's got to go away. But what the keyboard made me think about was what we use the keyboard for. What do we use the keyboard for? Well, we use the keyboard for communication, right? We use it to use our computers, which today connects us to other people the rest of the world. And it made me think about the idea that the primary human need is love and connection. We will sometimes even forego, as human beings, our most basic human needs of survival, you know, food, shelter, clothing, warmth, in order to obtain love and connection. In fact, it is such a powerful force in our lives that we will do practically anything in order to get love and connection. That's the reason that you do the things that you do. And you hear me talk a lot about fear, but the truth is, is that most of the time, the fear that runs our lives, that we shouldn't be letting run our lives, runs our lives because we're afraid that our most basic human need, the need to be loved and connected, won't be met. Unfortunately, not only does this drive us to do things that we shouldn't do that are actually self-defeating, but it also causes us to settle for second best for the counterfeit. You know what the counterfeit for love and connection is? It's attention. See, so many of us do things in order to get attention because it feels like love at the moment that it's happening. Somebody's looking at you, somebody's paying attention to you, right? It feels like love in the moment. Of course, when it's over, it's over. It doesn't stay with you, whereas love stays with you, which is an incredibly powerful concept. The fact that if you love somebody, you can be thousands of miles away and you can be apart for a very long time and that love will still feed and nourish your soul. Attention doesn't do that. Attention is fleeting. It's only in the moment. So what are the things that you do to try to gain love and connection that are really just a plea for attention? The counterfeit for love and connection. Many times, if we get rid of those behaviors which are calling for attention, we open more space 
to be able to receive love and connection. This is Panina Taylor. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have an inspired day.